everyone, Mr. Skyson here, and welcome back to Farm for Your Life. Last time, I waded through a tutorial segment and didn't really accomplish much. Today, I'm hoping to change that, so let's get farming. Oh yeah, first, pause that. I wanted to point out something about the characters real quick. In this game, all the little guys that are not you or a recurring character are actually randomized. Uh, like Gramps here, apparently. I thought he was major enough, but it seems he can appear without his hat. He looks... different without his hat. He also looks like he's got hat hair because of the neat hairstyle. Hey, like, uh, the merchant dude. If you'll recall, last time he had a beard. I don't know about his hair, but he definitely had a beard last time. Now he doesn't. These guys were probably different too, but I don't really remember what they looked like. Uh, I don't know about them. Didn't see them before. So, uh, yeah. Just wanted to point that out. What am I doing, Gramps? Go ask here if she wants some corn from us. Uh, nice words there, Grandpa. Hello, lady. You want some of my corn? It's fresh and yellow and bumpy. You are the new farmer, hmm? Yes, I actually can make use of your corn. I'll host a movie tonight, and the popcorn cannot be missing. Popcorn from fresh corn? Doesn't it have to be dried? You gonna dry it and pop it in one day? Good luck with that. I'll give you ten coins for four corn, okay? You okay. I'm good with that. Do you do do don't have a basket, gotta do it one at a time. But it's fine, it's just four pieces. Tja, work faster. Hey, lady! Give me money. Yeah, you don't actually have to bring everything to people. I didn't catch if she said anything. Oh yeah, there's a... creepy, insane person in the... in the broken down church. Pretty sure I showed them off in the... in the opening bit. So, not talk to them. Hey, Gramps, what you got to say? Come on. Need to make a hole over here. Nice. Maybe you can buy something from the merchant with that money. Okay, then. Hey, merchant. What you got for me? All right, he had some potatoes for me. Give me your potatoes. I have coins. Do you have potatoes? Helps if I ask for the potatoes. Give me them potatoes. Yes, yeah, the... That's the buying system in this. You get the little scales. So you can do like that. You gotta try to balance it out. Or put it into your favor. Sometimes you can make a purchase when it's like that. Normally not. Make the offer! And I still have two left. That was easy. Hey, they're taking corn. I don't think my corn was fully grown yet, but apparently it was, and they took my corn. Darn it. I'm gonna show them what for. Watch out, someone is coming. Okay, I can't show them what for. Darn it. I wanted to rough them up. Hey, Gramps, what's up? You have a thing to say? Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting that. Do, 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 do. I wanted to do something, but... An old coward, that's who I am. We have to be prepared next time. Can you repair our fence? I am just too shaken up. Well, you don't look it. You're just kind of standing there in the exact same place I left you. You probably invited them, didn't you? Tear down the old fence with your axe and replace it with new wood from the cart next to our farm. That would be this thingy. Okay, let me just put these away. Actually, uh, where? Shovel. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and get the potatoes set up. It takes a while for some stuff to grow. I wanna get that out of the way for the next bit. This is apparently still the tutorial. Fortunately, it is near the end of the tutorial, so this shouldn't take too long. Potato, 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 and potato. Go ahead and pick the corn. There we go. Now then, 
pause that. Remove that. Uh, that's good. Remove that. Remove that. That. I don't need to chop that. Eh, whatever. Fast forward. Too bad you can't do like in The Sims and do like triple speed. That would be fun. Okay, that's that. Put that away. Okay. Pick that up. Didn't want to chop it. And now we place wood. Which would be... No. Pick up the wood. Ah, there we go. I always forget that. Oh, you gotta right click to place stuff. And... There. Second time recording, so I already know what to do with this part. I'm supposed to make a wall from there to there. And here we go. Take what you can. Aha, this fence is supposed to stop us. Yep. And it seems to be doing a fairly good job, too. Not this time, you scum. I uh, didn't catch that. Quick, pimps a lot. Grab some fruits and jump in. Yeah, I renamed the character, by the way. We are now pimps a lot. Vegetable pimp of the mountain. And that's how we attack. This was the little tutorial for when the zombies start showing up. You're supposed to take the veggies that you grow and chuck them at the zombies. Ha ha ha, we did it. We won't be dealing with those guys anytime soon. Oh, that's good to know. Hey, an apple. Well, it's getting late. I should go to bed. <coughs> or some sort of noise like that. What was that? I think it may have been someone screaming. Oh my god, zombies! What the... Help! Quick, pencil lot. We need to help! Really, Gramps? Oh, slow motion. Get lost! Wait, hey! I'm not a silent protagonist. I actually say things. Cool. I'll throw an apple. <laughs> Slow motion action. What? <laughs> Ow. Yeah, apparently somebody ran up to us and threw what looked like a tomato at me. So that was very rude of them. Found no one else. It seems we're the only ones left. Oh, you're awake. Yeah, I've been standing here for a while now. I... I saw how you ran to help your father, and the same happened to my family. I knew you couldn't help him. Well, you don't know that. I had veggies to throw. And so did you, so you could have helped. I am sorry. The zombies headed straight for the woods at dawn. Your father was with them, too, as were my friends. Gee, what an amusing night, don't you think? Enough, you crazy bum. Watch your mouth. Yeah, you, uh... You get away from us. You're, you're, you're not right in the head. Kee <laughs> Calm down. It won't help us if we turn against each other. Maybe we were, maybe we are safe during the daytime, but at night those things will return. We have to stick together and build ourselves a secure home. Put a fence around everything. That's what I say. Nonsense. I don't need anyone's help. Good luck with your plan. I'm out. I already have the best company. Sorry, gentlemen. What, the chicken? You mean the chicken that is no longer here? Unbelievable. We are actually on our own. And there will be more survivors from the surrounding cities. They'll need supplies and food. If you want to help, meet me at the old church. A few feet away? I mean, we could have just talked right here, but... Okay. I mean, you could have talked to me from over there. We should use these walls to feed the survivors. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not much for eating stone. But that's just me. It tastes horrible. I'll go ahead and think of some way to use this place. Can you take care of food supplies? Oh, sure. Just mooch off me and my farm. A little bit of corn and potatoes should be good enough for now. Fine. 
and the only one that does any work around here anyway. And Gramps had me doing everything. May as well pull, or maybe as well carry everybody. Eh. Farmer's work is never done. That, that should be enough to get everything started. Now, speed it up. And done. Uh, what to do? Yeah, he, uh, this dude, the hobo, he just kind of says, screw you guys, you're on your own. And then he comes over here and just stands around. And that's it. Let's go talk to the loony person. Ah, there I am. What you got? Welcome. Welcome to my humble shop. This is not your humble shop. This is the other merchant's humble shop. You just took his stuff. You are my first customer, and therefore, win a trip to Spain. That would be a great contest. You'll have to pay for it yourself, though. Yeah, great contest there. Have a big contest, say, trip to Spain, or wherever. And then, like, the fine print, but you have to pay for the entire thing yourself if you win. What? Of course I own all of this. No, you don't. So, how can we make business? By making business. What you got for me? Corn seeds, potato seeds, fertilizer, red watering can. I have a blue watering can. What does the red do? And baked potato. Recipe. Oh, okay. Uh... I don't really have any use for anything right now. I mean, I've got things growing. There's some apples, though. I'm gonna go ahead and get those. Do -do -do -do. Speed that along. Or, yeah. yeah. With the forests, you can actually go into them during the day, which I will do now. Well, you can go in there, I think, at any point, but since you have to be around to defend the place during the night, it's usually best usually best to do it during the day. There. I forgot I'd made the wall there, so I couldn't exactly go. There we go. So you can come into the forest. My little, little firefly buddy. You can come into the forest and get extra supplies. Since I can't very well continue cutting down tree stumps and breaking rocks in the town since... Uh oh yeah, there are zombies in the forest. Oh, several zombies. Zombies in the forest, so you have to actually be careful when you come here for supplies. They will attack you. Uh, you don't die from it. Kid-friendly game and all that. There is no dying allowed in this. Uh, but they will knock away the stuff that you picked up. So, that's not a good thing. Just gonna come over here. Hey, you got the different entries to the forest. Uh, if you go, there's actually an achievement that if you go from this one to the one that I was at just a moment ago, uh, without getting harmed by the zombies, then you get an achievement for that. Oh, well, here's this. Yeah, they hide in the darkness. You can only see what's in this ring of light, so that's a bit frustrating at times if you just go running all willy nilly. So, it's best to take it slow. Fortunately, I did not have much on me, so I did not lose much. I believe you lose... When they attack you, you lose half of what you have picked up. So if you don't have much, you're not going to lose much. But if you happen to have collected a lot, then that's going to be frustrating. Just going to pick up a little bit for right now. Just enough so I can make extra fencing if I need it. Which I probably will if I want to expand the farm and... Hurry, hurry, hurry. Get away from me, baldy. Uh, crap. Go, go, go. Run, man, run. Oh, no. Crap. Oh, there goes all that. See? Everything was in half. Sigh. Well, whatever. It's a few more pieces than I had. A little bit extra. Uh, what now? What now? Oh yeah, need...
everything's growing, so I go check with you. You just needed a little bit of food anyway. All right. Now I can buy a simple kitchen. Oh, I only need needed one of each. Oh well. Never hurts to have extra. And now I have a kitchen. Because in this game, it is not just time management for a farm. You run a kitchen. And then... Hey, I can buy a new crate. And also buy seats and a sprinkler. Oh, cannot get a sprinkler. Do not have the metal bits for it. I can buy seats, though. Yay! Wow, that made a lot of space. And get me a crate to place here. And back to you. Yeah, we are out of the tutorial segment now, so... This is just the regular game. Like, crap, 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 get out of that. Don't need to be in fast motion while in a menu. Something might happen. Let's see, a tent, which I still cannot... What's metal in a tent? The posts? You could just as easily use the wood. Whatever. Food storage. And a gate. I think I'll get a gate. Uh, place you. Talk to you. Get gates for this, that way... I don't know, maybe it'll help keep the zombies out. Hello, person. I think this person actually changes as well. I think when I test played the game... Oops, was that... Oh, okay. I didn't mean to buy that, but whatever. I have it now. When I test played going through the tutorial before... I think that person was a female at one point. There, I'm all set up. Nice. And go ahead and... Oops. Let's, uh, do this. Oh, cool. You can actually put things into it. And just like that, I can collect the entire farm in one go. What you got? Any zombies gonna come out? It's night time. You got the little clock there, you got... Yeah, what am I doing here? Apple juicer? Sure, why not? Wait, nope, I need metal for that. Well, never mind. Uh, you got the clock here. Forgot to point that out before you... Oh, obviously, this is night time. Then you got morning, where... I think that's usually just idle time. Nobody shows up, nothing happens. So you can tend the farm, talk to these little scrubs, whatever. And you got the midday area, which you can still do whatever, but... Now that there is a food service area, people will start to show up. I don't know when that happens though and then of course the evening time when things start to slow down people stop showing up and then it's probably about time to start prepping for the zombies to show up so yeah time management yay uh, not a lot going on right now though what do you got oh yeah that you had a recipe and I can buy that hey I've got stuff I can buy that recipe. May as well use stone. I got more of it. Here, have a big pile of rocks. Teach me how to cook. <laughs> Alright. Offer. And to learn recipes, you go to the stove. I'm gonna show this off and then I will probably cut the video. I've at least covered some of the general gameplay. From the stove, uh, this is what you have to start with, baked corn, and I just bought baked potato. You go to the merchant, crazy person, whatever, and you buy various recipes from them over the course of the game. Uh, of course, they will need up to four ingredients each time. Some of them will be one, two, etc. You get the idea. Learn. And this is how you learn. You play Fruit Ninja. Oh boy. Never been a big fan of this kind of game. Hey, I did great. But I can do better. Time needed for three stars, 7.5 seconds. It's not too difficult. Obviously the ones where you need more ingredients are more difficult, but once you learn the patterns of where everything comes from, then it gets significantly easier. 
darn it. A little hard to get them sometimes, though. Gotta be careful you don't accidentally knock stuff away. Ooh, right. Oh, oh come on! Mm. I guess you have to get every last bit of everything that comes along. Nope. Nope. Come here. Alright. Even below se uh, seven seconds. Very nice. Back to the kitchen. Now to learn them baked potatoes. What you got? What you got? Bring it. Oh, that's not a potato. Oh, there went potato. Ah! Again, not a fan of this kind of gameplay. Kind of fun, I guess. I can see where it would be fun. Doesn't really appeal to me. I did horribly. Hmm. Trying this again. No, you don't. Yeah, I'm doing a little bit better already. Ah, considerably better. Got it already. Nice. And yeah, I have now mastered those. I didn't have to. You can actually just hit skip, but that's just me, completionist and all that. Uh, if you get all the recipes and then get three stars for everything, you get an achievement for that. So, that's a challenging thing. Any more business to do? If not, then I will go ahead and quit. Still can't get that. I could get more food storages. Uh, more tables. I think I might actually do that. Because you have to anyway. Yo. Hey. A second stove. Which I... Unfortunately cannot... Wait. How... How did I get the first stove? I didn't have any metal. Maybe they had it on them? I, I wasn't really paying attention when I did that. Huh. Whatever. More tables. Oh, wait. Uh, well, food storage took a lot of wood. Well, I guess I won't be getting anything then. Still, it looks kind of nice in there. All cleaned up. Too bad we can't get the walls rebuilt a little bit more. Maybe get a sign. Some nice carpets. Windows. Get a nice stained glass window. Have a name for the restaurant. I'm gonna come up with a name next time. Hey, crazy person, you got anything new? Yes, you do. Ooh, different recipes. Recipes for things that I do not have. But you also have seeds for things I do not have. Alright, I'm looking for an adventure next time. How about you? Anything? I know you, I knew you would come licking my boots. So you really need my help? Well, if you can supply me with a place to sleep and some food, I'll work for you. That's where the That's where the tents that this person has come in handy. You can buy tents once you get metal. And you can buy one tent and then make him into a worker. Then you can buy other tents and other Hobos will start showing up, and then you can have them tending to the farm and restaurant for you, so you don't have to. Ooh, there's a tato. But anywho, I've made a little bit of progress today. You got to see the zombies, even if there wasn't a lot of zombie fighting action going on yet. That should be going on next time, though. This has been Farm for Your Life. I hope you all enjoyed watching. I will see you next time, and remember to stay groovy.